Good morning. Saturday morning, it's time for journaling once again. Today I just wanted to kind of go in a little bit more depth on the idea of executive functions. I had mentioned it, I believe in the last video I made, in relation to why journaling is popping up on a math channel. Through my years of teaching, um, particularly the last decade and a half or so where I've been doing more academic straight stuff like math, science, writing, things like that, I started <clears throat> implementing things or skills, routines, systems that I learned in college because I didn't know them prior to college. And it turns out that most of my students I would have and the niche that I developed in my tutoring business, which now is what is known as executive functions. So, and that's where this journaling is coming from. So let me just quickly give you a brief history or a brief explanation. Executive functions as I'm defining them are primarily focused on just from the point of view of a student success. So it's the infrastructure to student success. The things one needs to perform at their maximum potential to do well in school. And some of these elements may be from direct items of a desk, having the proper desk, the proper environment, the proper workspace, tools of the trade, and then the intangible things like systems. How do you go about organizing your notes? Let it be digital or, on, or um, hard copy on paper. The next thing would be routines. We wanna kinda create these collection of systems that become habit that allow one to do and perform well in school. And some of these routines may seem mundane, but they keep us current. These are like the things like brushing your teeth, making your bed, taking a shower, putting your things away. These are things that I have found predominantly over the last decade and a half. And then if I incorporate my own uh, study habits I had in high school all the way down, that really have plagued me hard in college that I had to really learn how to do to graduate with a physics degree. Um, it was my executive functions that were making it almost impossible to graduate. I didn't know how to deal with the workflow, let alone manage it, let alone manage it mentally so I didn't get overwhelmed. And I see this countless times with most students to this day. And once there's an infrastructure in place, things get better. So I'm coming up with, uh, I'm, right, I'm finishing up an ebook, or uh, not any, it's an ebook slash hardcover too, on executive functions basically breaking all the things down I just kind of mentioned briefly, as well as a way how to implement yourself to build your own executive functions. And one of the major pillars of that is journaling. Journaling helps us process and reflect how our lives are going. But when it's used in context with just the executive functions, at least the one aspect of life, which is how are these things working? How is my desk working? How is my room working? Is my systems working well? Did I do well following my executive functions or my, my plan for the week for school? And then of course these executive functions when you're done with school of any form, college or high school, um, they will turn into the infrastructure for life, the basic things you need to do in life. And at the center of that, to kind of keep everything moving and reflecting is journaling in my humble opinion. By writing every day, not only do you get a brief moment in time for yourself, particularly if you have a family, if you have young children or children in general, or you have to take care of someone, you get that private time for yourself. It also gives you time to reflect or empty out your emotions, empty out your feelings, or reflect on them that maybe you can improve upon. And B, it allows you to reflect on anything that's coming up. And it doesn't necessarily mean things that are going bad, but like, what would you like to do in the future? What trips would you like to do? And you just kind of let it open to anything that you wanna let go through your head. Or if you're working on a project, an essay, or like for me, like if I wanna create new content around certain subjects, I'll journal it first to kind of get the juices flowing, gets in the back of the subconscious, and little by little, um, the ideas come up throughout the day. Journaling is an essential part of life in general. But in the context for right now, um, such a part for student success since we're, I'm kind of housed in that framework of this channel. And that's why journaling, you're seeing it popping up on my Fine Mathematics channel. And very shortly, as I said, my book on executive functions will be out for people to hopefully use. And if you're a parent or a student, 
we just finished this school term, so the next school term, if you find yourself asking yourself a question or reflecting on your, your child or someone you may know, I believe they're a lot smarter than what the grades are showing. They just tend to get distracted, they go off on tangents, they can't get work in on time, or the work that is done is always done at the last minute, or at a very low quality, or it just gets lost, or they're just completely lost due to the fact that they can't keep track of all their work. The, the maintenance of it is what's getting in the way of them actually even seeing if they can understand the class. If any of these sound familiar, then probably the executive functions need to be relooked at and most likely have to be probably built and put in place and then run and then over time, of course, evolving it. So that's where the journaling process really comes in. So that's my little steel or little spick on uh, journaling and why it's important. So let's get to journaling today. Um, and as usual, <clears throat> if anybody wants to support the channel, we have our journaling book. I'm putting up the three more very shortly. Um, <clears throat> different flavors of these as well as more products to come in the very near future. If you guys have any suggestions, please just leave them in the comments below. Um, and for anybody new to journaling, once again, don't think, don't worry about formatting, spelling, or what to write. Just keep the pen moving. That's what's critical. Just keep it moving. And if you can tie it to how you're feeling somehow or whatever you're talking about, not just dictation, but how you're feeling, even better. But if you can't, that's fine. For anybody new, just fill up a page. And here we go. So, I find it's very important to always put at minimum a date, and this is actually a form of an executive function by organizing one's uh, notes with a chronological date of either reverse or forward helps, and I find it's really helpful with journaling too. So I always put in the heading, the location, I'm home. Today is the 10th, and the time for me is 2.36 p.m. The first sentence, just give us a little establishing sentence on what the day is like outside. So when you review this in the future, you can go, oh, you get a kind of orientation of what was going on. So with that said, one page, everybody, and remember, always enjoy the process. Good luck.
finished one page. If you didn't finish, please keep on going. And we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend and uh, always remember, enjoy the process. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.